Hare Krishna. Welcome. My name is Bhaktivas. My wife and I have been devotees for the last 40 years. A great desire that I've had is to paint an exhibition of Bhagavad Gita as it is. This is going to be a presentation for World Bhagavad Gita Day or Krishna Bhagavad Gita Jayanti. This painting consists of uh, formerly Srila Prabhupada who is presenting this Bhagavad Gita to the world, coming in the disciplic succession from Lord Chaitanya, presenting Bhagavad Gita for the enlightenment of the individual soul. There are going to be 20 paintings all up, an introduction, and also a tribute at the end, and then in between there's the 18 chapters. The style that I'm painting in is spiritual expressionism, and I'm drawing on the artistic skills of both the indigenous culture here in Australia, and also uh, pointillism, which was a style of art that was uh, created back at the turn of the century, 20th century, by artists such as Surat. The other style that I'm using is mandala paintings throughout the paintings, and thereby, by using these styles, it depicts a vibration. I want things to be vibratory, which is explained in the Gita that everything is temporary and vibrating and is now backed up by quantum physics. So there are 20 paintings all up. This is Melbourne, Victoria, Australia's contribution to Gita Jayanti and the World Bhagavad Gita Day. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, there'll be paintings coming up and you'll see different paintings that I've done. I've done chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, working on chapter four. And over the years, you'll see, hopefully by 2025, we'll be finished. So welcome again. This is the first painting, chapter one. The title of this painting is called Doubt. So the doubt begins in Arjuna. Here we see Dhritarashtra, who is the king of the Kuru dynasty, and he's asking his sage, who had telepathic vision, what was happening in the battle of Kurukshetra. And so he could translate to the king what was happening. He was seeing all the different atrocities that were happening, degradation of womanhood, fighting, killing, so on and so forth, which caused complete anxiety for Arjuna. And so Arjuna approaches Krishna to find out the meaning. Why should he have to fight? On each painting, as you'll notice, there is a Ranguli design around each one, and there are four of the main verses of each chapter stated around the painting. Accompanying each painting will be a more descriptive analysis of what I'm trying to present in this painting from that particular chapter. Each painting will have that. So that each colour of each painting will also be different. So in all, the 20 paintings will have different colours. So it'll be a colour festival to see this whole exhibition. The idea behind this is that for an everyday person to come to an exhibition which presents Bhagavad Gita and they walk through the exhibition and after walking through the exhibition they have virtually read Bhagavad Gita. So this is chapter 2 and the cha chapter title of this is called Content. Now as from the previous one the blind king Dhritarashtra was instructing or getting instructions and vision from Sanjaya and here we see now Krishna is instructing Arjuna about what life is about. So chapter 2 summarizes the basic thing of the content of Gita, that we're not these material bodies, we travel from boyhood to youth to old age and then back again. The ultimate goal of life though is to listen to the instructions of Krishna and Arjuna just as these two spirit souls are listening. And when we listen and we understand, we become enlightened and then the spiritual world opens up for us. But this is the sacred message that's being given in Bhagavad Gita for all of us. So chapter 2 is very important. It's very bright. We can see the living entities going through different stages of life, ultimately ending up at death and then rebirth again. So the instructions are there in chapter 2 for the whole Gita. And then we go into the different special sections of the next few chapters. So this is chapter 3, and chapter 3's title is Right Action. 
Again, it's a different colour and a different style, but again, we have that dot painting, that mandala sort of painting. We can see the mandala up here of the Om symbol. And again, it's that vibratory quality. A different colour again, we have the different shlokas. Now, accompanying each painting at the exhibition will be a description that a person can sit and look at the painting and similarly read the description that I've written here. I'll just read a little bit from one of the descriptions. The coloured blocks in this painting represent the various occupations and activities all of us perform. These occupations are carried out in the mode of ignorance, depicted in the dark section of the painting, in the mode of passion, the grey section, and also in the mode of goodness, which is depicted in the white section. Lord Krishna explains that true renunciation does not entail mere abandonment of worldly duties, but to give up the mentality that one is a controller and an enjoyer of all deeds. Even though one may be enthused to follow such a progressive growth, still why one may act improperly against one's good intelligence and intentions. Krishna then explains that the root cause of this phenomenon and the eternal enemy of the aspiring spiritualist is lust the psychological force produced intense desire for an object or circumstance is basically selfishness. So the, sim the soul is rising from confusion and selfishness, fear, anger, so on and so forth, rising through the modes of material nature, ultimately contemplating and praying to the Supreme Lord, meditating on Him and rising to Krishna consciousness. That's basically the instructions of right action in chapter 3. So now you're in the studio and I'm working on the recent painting. This is chapter four and this is Gaining Knowledge. That's the title of this painting. And here we see it's a start, but here we see the living entity entangled in the material world and finally coming to a point of questioning, why am I stuck in this material world? And so she's looking to a spiritual teacher, a mentor, who is directed by Srila Prabhupada, as we all are, to Krishna. So this is a continuing saga and then recently I got inspiration for chapter 5, Right Path, and so it goes on. And there'll be 20 of these paintings. <laughs>